In the Mesh Settings tab, you can set the number of mesh cells in each direction, or the size of each mesh cell. When setting up an FDE simulation, you should always start with a coarse mesh and perform some convergence testing by making the mesh smaller. You can use the Mesh Override region to make the mesh smaller in specific regions. Typically, the mesh should be small near complex structures, near material interfaces, and where the field profile changes rapidly. In such case, the actual number of mesh cells can be increased from the specified number in the Mesh Settings tab of the FDE region. Note that in contrast to FDTD, it's not necessary to make the mesh smaller in high index regions. In the General tab of the Mesh Override Object Property window, you can select which direction to override and the mesh step size in each direction, either directly or by applying a multiplier. The Mesh Override region will attempt to create a mesh with an integer number of mesh cells over the span of the Mesh Override region. So if the span of the Mesh Override region is not integer divisible by the specified dx, dy, or dz setting, then the mesh step size that is used may be rounded down so that the mesh override region will include an integer number of mesh cells. In the Geometry tab of the mesh override region, the geometry of the override region can be specified directly, or you can use the Based on a Structure option to specify the name of an object or structure group that you want the mesh override settings to apply to. If you specify the name of an object, and there are multiple objects with the same name, the mesh settings will apply to all of the objects with that name. If you specify the name of a structure group, the mesh override settings will apply to the full span of the area including the objects in the structure group.